Hi there, and now we're starting part 3 of my playthrough of The Darkness 2. Jackie's gone mental, and he's doing weird things. Ah, it's alright buddy, just let me get past. Are these guys bad? I'll assume so then. I hope they were bad, otherwise I actually feel genuinely bad for doing that. Um, I don't understand, these gang colours are weird for the Mafia. I thought Mafia wore suits, but apparently these guys wear track suits. Keep running, Swifty! I got all fucking night! It's too light! Because that's a bulletproof thingy. Weird. I can't help but think the gas generator looked a lot more robust than the light bulb, but okay. We'll uh, roll around. We'll go the way that this game wants us to. Hmm. It's interesting that everyone seems to be well aware of how to neutralise my superpowers though. But surely you just fight the guy with a torch. I think that's the easiest way to go. You know, like one of those awesome police torches they have. Also, just proves that light powers are infinitely better than dark powers. I mean, to manipulate light. Um, that sounds hilarious. It's something about throwing darklings like this. <laughs> Where? Oh my! Oh, I can't see a thing. Like at all. Um. I'm looking at the floor. That would be why. Always a bit troubling in a game when the mechanic revolves around being in the dark and it's so dark you can't even see a thing. Must destroy all light bulbs. I like the name of that gun, so I'll use that for now. Hey, catch, dude. <laughs> oh, whoops, it drops it. Everyone seems to be wielding shotguns anyway, I guess I'll just roll with this one. Um. There's no reason not to eat every single person's heart, but... Like I always say, I just want to get straight to the point. Oh, I need to go up there. Okay, so apparently I completely did not go the right way and I was wasting big time there. Hilariously bad attempts at puzzles. Where is the actual light though? Oh, there it is on the wall. Well, I say puzzles, but that's because I blame Resident Evil for really dumbing down their puzzles as the series went on to the point that they were kind of just menial tasks. But then people were still referring to the Resident Evil games as being games with puzzles. Let's remember at the end, I think it was see, either. Resident Evil uh, 2 or 3 where it says something like you'll need an MO disc to get past this and like 
you think that you'd at least have to journey for it to find this uh, MO disk, but no, in fact, it was next to the computer that you were, net you were using. Um, which then just raises the question of why even have that. I keep accidentally throwing people rather than uh, tearing them in two, but... That's because I think... Yeah, the thing is you actually have to hold down L2 when you grab people if you want to execute them like this, whereas I keep just tapping L2. Alright, where's this clown gone? Cool lighting effects in this game, though. Where am I supposed to go? Come on, let's see what legion of men you can throw who are just going to be generally food for me. There's nothing like using two Uzis at the same time and just spraying them everywhere. I mean, though I don't particularly like Call of Duty myself, that's one of the few things I did like, the fact that you could dual wield. I mean, to be honest, the first game I remember having dual wielding like that was actually Time Splitters. That was way cooler. You know what? Darkness thing, you got we should be on first turns by now. You don't need to call me host, you can call me Jackie. I wonder if this guy's hairstyle was actually inspired by Jackie Chan when he was younger, because uh I don't know if you remember if you've seen the older Jackie Chan classics, but he used to have hair exactly like Jackie here. Probably not. Kato, you piece of shit. This is, this is some serious big operators to come after you, Jackie. Hey, come on back to Wall Street. You're just a low life punk, Swifty. Who the what? fuck put you up to this? You, you think I wanted to mess with you? Come on, I had no choice. You always have a choice. No, I'm not. Because you always have a choice. If you didn't want to screw with me, you shouldn't have. Because you knew what the cost was going to be. Listen to me. I had no choice. They, they, they were going to take us apart unless we came after you. They got a real hard on for you. Uh, generally when people, you know, have a hard on for someone, they don't want to kill them. Um... I'd really question the use of that kind of uh, language there. Although I guess if you... Ugh, then I really don't want to get caught by these guys. Jesus Christ, Jackie! They knew everything about us! They could have ripped this to pieces! Look, I will demonstrate here. This is ripping you to pieces. Now, could they have done that? Because I'm guessing no. You made a very bad call. I mean, being ripped to pieces is in terms of being shot. That's one thing. Being ripped to pieces by some weird demonic devil creature. Now, that's a lot more scary. Plus, you know what? In a universe where this kind of stuff exists, um, there are bad places you can end up, which means you really should just try to be good. Jackie, you gotta listen to me. They never even said 
again, names? I swear! These guys are serious trouble. They get all this crazy high-tech armor. You decided to take someone's orders who's you didn't even get their name off. That's uh pretty freaking stupid, I think. Where what is the bright light from? can't see where... Oh, the generator must be in that room behind me. Where is it? Here we go. Jackie, I swear that's all I know! Don't kill me! Uh. I really just feel sorry for these guys. I mean, if I had the option, if I could, I'd just tell them all to walk away from me so I didn't have to chop them up. I mean, you really are just serving these guys to me on a plate. Okay, okay, okay. I talk. Just don't kill me, okay? You're very weird looking. Start talking. I think I think they're like some kind of secret club or something, you know? They gave, they gave me an envelope with a whole load of cash in it. Their boss, their, their leader, whatever. I, I, I met him in a brothel. The, the Brimstone Club, alright? Look, I'm telling you. Classy. Th these guys are some kind of... Hey! What the fuck are you doing? Damn it! You miserable fucking friend! What the fuck did you do? I needed him! I needed answers! That was nothing. Oh right, so basically Once with the, the darkness gets a hold of you, you start to lose control. You start to wonder what the fuck you're doing. Time slips away from you. And then, all of a sudden, it's like you're sitting in a theater, watching a movie of your own life. And you're up there on the big screen, big as life. You're a fucking movie star, and you're killing all the bad guys, tearing them limb from limb. And you feel good, you look good. Fuck, you are good. And then you realize something. Everyone else in the theater, they're screaming. Because they're watching a horror movie. And you're not the hero. You're the monster. Oh yeah, sorry, so what I was trying to say is this is kind of like a Spider-Man 2 Doc Ock Eddie thing. And Frank are checking out the Brimstone right now. And the new guys found your buddy, Johnny Powell. Yeah, he didn't take to your invitation so good. Put him in the back room so he could shit his pants for a while. Follow me. Can't so, see him again. the yes, tentacles have a life of their own. Short of a circus, Jackie. He wasn't living by the Queensboro Bridge. He was living under it in a cardboard box. All right, come on. He's back here. Hey, Chief, how's the wife and kids? Hmm. Well, he's in a good mood. He's where? Oh, through there. Knock yourself out. And you own some books. I mean, some other fuck nuts might live at the North Pole and they own a lawnmower, but th that don't mean nothing. Johnny Powell, you look like shit. You were supposed to be the expert. I paid you good money to help me figure things out, and you repaid me by skipping out in the middle of the night? For what? Jackie, I did what I could to help you control the darkness. But being around you was becoming a problem for me. The darkness is so fucking Seductive. I could hear it whispering to me whenever I was around you. It was starting to change me. Are you gonna kill me? Is that what this is all about? I let it out, Johnny. Now I don't know if I can control it. You let the darkness back out? Jesus Christ, Jackie, that thing is like a slow suicide. Then help me get it back under control. You don't control the darkness, Jackie. You cower in fucking fear of it, and you pray it goes away. The longer the darkness is active, the more it'll try to confuse you. It'll try to trap you, make you see stuff that, that, that other people can't see. Okay, yeah, that's kind of been happening. So back on the payroll until I say you can go. Bunch of assholes just came after my entire operation. And whoever gave them this envelope is connected to the darkness somehow. I need you to figure out who they are, and what they know about it. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, I, I'll do what I can. It's... 
It'll go a lot faster if you get one of your gorillas to untie me. Please? Yeah, okay, sure. It lives in Viscera, and you are the focus. It wants chaos. You can untie him now, Chief. But keep an eye on him for me, would you? Hmm. Wow, oh, that guy really let himself go. I used to think he was pretty smart. Now he looks like something the cat threw up. Hey, hey, Frank and Eddie are back from the club. They're waiting for you with Jimmy in your office. All right. Thanks, Vin. I hey aren't me, but I don't want to talk to you, so let's go up here. Where are we going? Oh crap, Jackie's office is downstairs. I wish they let me run inside the house, it'd make traversal a lot quicker. How are you holding up, Jackie? Jackie, you're gonna wanna hear this. No, I really don't, but I, you're gonna force me to, aren't you? That Swifty prick was right. The assholes who hit us are hiding out at the Brimstone. What did you geniuses find out? It was Eddie who heard it. I was otherwise engaged at the time. He was busy snorting coke off a of hooker's ass. Never could multitask. Classy. Well, these two chuckleheads are getting their dick spit polished. One of the whores starts running her mouth about the new owners. I had this girl, Camille. She says the place got bought up last month. The new guys took over the top floor. Yeah, but that ain't the best part. Camille says she's seen some weird guy with a limp go in and out of the place. Says he looks like Nosferatu on crack. Who the fuck is Nosferatu? Your grandmother. No idea if this wank job and his crew are still there. But it might be worth checking out. All right, enough talking. I'm headed down there. Whatever you say, Jackie. I think Vinny has a friend who works there. Might want to ask him about her. Oh, Jesus, he's just getting seedier and seedier by the minute. Holding up, Jackie. Hey, Jack. So, uh, Jimmy told me about the Brimstone Club. Sounds like a real dumpster. You, uh, got a hookup over there? Well, uh, you mean, uh, me? Well, I, I mean, I'd never go to a cesspool like that, but I, I got a friend who goes there sometimes. <laughs> who, you know, when it's late at night, when other places are closed. I know a girl there named Venus. Sure, she can help you out. She's a real handful. Two of them, actually. The new owners are real pissy about the door. They don't let nobody bring a gun in. That's fine, though, because you probably want to learn as much as you can before you, you know, do your thing and scare the living shit out of them. Damn right. <laughs> okay, then. You ready to get some fucking answers? Take me to this shithole, Vinny. All right, I'm going to Let's go. leave that. Oops. What? What's the matter? Uh, 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 this envelope. Uh, uh, where did you say you got it again? Off some dead guy that was paid to kill me. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Something wrong, Johnny? Uh, nothing. Um, uh, couldn't be them. Cause that'd be really bad. Hey, um, I, 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 I gotta do some more research. Uh, good luck in your killing spree. Me and the boys will take him to the zoo while you're gone. Retards like the zoo. That line from Rocky. And a boy, Jackie. What do you say we go tweak some nipples and see what happens, huh? <laughs> That's actually from Rocky. That line. That's what they say about Adrian, which is really mean. I remember this one time when it was summer, hot as balls. Jenny and me were on the stoop with a couple of cones, there, trying to cool off. And here comes this fucking kid. You know the type, asshole all the way. He shoves me over and takes a seat between the two of us, Jenny. Takes one look at him, dumped her cone right in his lap. <laughs> That's when he pushed her. So I did what I had to do. I curbed the little fuck. Figured a few months eating through a straw would teach him how to talk to a lady. Jenny didn't talk to me for a week. Damn. Okay, we're going to stop that video there. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, if you like how the video is going so far, just let me know. And we'll be, I'll be back with you.